the soundtrack that rockin', you know this game's gonna be good. Electric guitars, fighter planes, and giant robots make for a winning combination. This is kind of an odd game, and certainly not a very famous one. I forget where I even found out about this one, but I like vertical shooting games like this, where you're the lone spaceship, of course, fighting countless enemies who are all idiots and fly at you in predictable formations. They eventually get you because the only way the bad guys can kill you in these kind of games is by filling the screen with so many bullets that you simply can't even see your spaceship. And that's pr that pretty much describes this game. It is fun, and I do recommend it. It's not very expensive. You can pick this one up for a couple bucks out there used. It's uh, obviously a direct port from the arcade game. In fact, the uh, second player screen there, it says game over, it keeps blinking. You have your pretty standard variety of weapons, your normal bullets, you have uh, kind of a unique laser uh, electrocutional weapon here that uh, you fire and it bounces from one ship to another until it runs out of steam, which makes for a little bit of skill to use it because you can't rapidly change what you're shooting at, but it does do damage when you hit things. And you also have missiles and there's power-ups flying around. Now, I actually captured this footage off the PlayStation 3. This is the first PlayStation 1 game I've used with the system, and for whatever reason, the music is, is not playing in the background. Uh, but rest assured, there is music. Your weapons get powered up. You see here that my uh, single shot is now turned into a full-screen shotgun, wiping out wave after wave of enemy. Uh, it's a little annoying that the, side is, that the sides of the screen don't go away, obviously keeping the original... Uh, aspect ratio of this game which was more of a it's like 16 by 9 laid on its side and this is uh, one of your stereotypical end bosses your giant flying wing shooting lots and lots of cannons at you and listen to the sound effects here that's the exact sound that my cell phone makes when I put it on the alarm setting now what makes this game unique it isn't necessarily the shooting uh, game itself, which as you can see is, is, is obviously fun, but, but nothing groundbreaking by any means. In fact, it's actually kind of frustrating and difficult. It uh, really is better when you're playing this game with two people, except you do get to some pretty massive uh, slowdown later on in the game. found that out a couple weeks ago playing with a friend of mine. What makes this game unique is the bonus mode, where they have different versions of the game. Uh, they have the pocket mode, comical mode, ancient mode, and, like, look at this. I don't know who took the time to design this in here, but it's... I've never seen anything like this. The ancient mode makes it look all ancient. The sounds are more tinny, they're distorted. This is the comical mode, and you just have to hear it to uh, believe it. Who sat around in a, in a programming or business meeting and said that this was going to be an, a good idea to take development time and do this? <laughs> That's what I want to know. This is just so bizarre, and this, this makes this game worth picking up alone right here. This is the pocket mode where it resembles the 1980s Game Boy. This is uh, basically the insane mode, where the bullets fly at you faster than you can possibly dodge them. This is Geikyo Shooting King, and damn it, they need to remake this game for PlayStation 3.